Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you get to watch a video about every single country on earth. In today's video we're going to explore Akrotiri and Dekelia, which is a British overseas territory. But keep in mind that there is an entire playlist containing all the British territories, so be sure to check that out too. Also, please remember to subscribe if you wish to see the two new videos I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Akrotiri and Dekelia is a place most of us have never heard of. But it exists and it's one of the British Overseas Territories, located in Cyprus. It is, however, a special territory. Why? Because it's sort of a self-governing military base. This is how it happened. When the Ottoman Empire joined the Central Powers in World War I, Britain hurried to take control of Cyprus, as it was an important strategic island. Local Cypriots sided with Britain in return for a promise that following the war, they would be allowed to unify with Greece, a promise Britain failed to deliver. Because of this, the anti-British sentiment grew and eventually Cyprus achieved its independence, but with a compromise. Britain was allowed to keep two military bases on their own sovereign land. This allowed them to maintain a military presence in the eastern Mediterranean and retain control over the Suez Canal, while also diffusing the struggle with the locals. Thus, both Akrotiri and Dekelia were partitioned off and remained under British control even after Cyprus became independent. As I said, Akrotiri and Dekelia are essentially military bases with no real civil government. The territory is composed of the two base areas, one in Akrotiri or the Western Sovereign Base Area and one in the Kelia Cantonment or the Eastern Sovereign Base Area. Akrotiri contains two main military bases but also all of the Akrotiri village districts plus parts of 11 other village districts. The Kelia includes one main military base and parts of 12 village districts. What this means is that despite being military bases, both areas do contain civilian areas as well. Around 7,700 Cypriots live in the territory, along with 3,600 military personnel and 4,400 auxiliary personnel, bringing the total population to 15,700 people. During the troublesome 70s, Akrotiri and Dekelia became well-needed refugee camps. It was in 1974 that a military coup in Cyprus was attempted in order to achieve Enosis, the long-dreamed union with Greece. As a reaction to this, Turkey invaded the north of the island, which had a significant Turkish minority. This intervention led to the creation of the internationally unrecognized Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. The invading Turkish soldiers did not touch the two military bases in order to avoid war with the United Kingdom. So Akrotiri and Achillia served as a safe haven for the Cypriots fleeing from the Turkish forces. They were allowed to travel through the territories and were given humanitarian aid. Villagers from Aknas even set up a new village within the Kelia after abandoning their old location. Turkish refugees were also given help, but they were flown out to northern Cyprus a year later. As you can imagine, there are a lot of people in Cyprus who don't agree with the presence of foreign military bases on their island, let alone with the ownership status of these lands. On the other hand, the United Kingdom has shown no intention of ceding the base areas, as they still serve a strategic role. So the bases remain a subject of dispute between the two countries, and it's being exploited in local politics, with the bases being labeled as an unfair colonial remnant. 
During the Syrian civil war, there was also speculation that a British intervention in the conflict might lead to the bombing of the bases with long-range missiles, missiles that could potentially carry chemical weapons. This never happened, but even so, the displeasement of the locals remains. This weird British territory does have a capital, at Episcopi Cantonment. Although it is not the largest of the British military bases on the island, it is however home to both the civilian and military administration headquarters of the sovereign base areas. Episcopi is also the current command center of British forces Cyprus. Part of Episcopi lies within Cyprus and is a civilian village, not related to the base areas. As you might expect, not much can be said about this capital, as it's basically a military complex and not an actual city. When the base areas were retained by Britain in 1960, their military purposes were underlined. This was not going to be a colony, it was never planned as such. The stated philosophy of their administration provided that the British government would not develop the territories for other than military purposes. No colonies were to be set up and no customs posts or other frontier barriers were to be built. No civilian commercial or industrial enterprises were to be established except those needed by the military complex. No commercial or civilian airports or seaports are allowed to be built here. There were no expropriations of private property except for military purposes and even then only on payment of fair compensation. Furthermore, the ancient monuments and antiquities that lie within the base areas are the property of and administered by the Republic of Cyprus. When the areas were being established, the boundaries were deliberately drawn to avoid centers of population. Nevertheless, there are people living here. However, it's quite hard to paint a picture of what life is like in this territory, as there are no economic statistics for Akrotiri and Achalia. It must be said though that this is the only British territory that officially uses the Euro as its currency. Traveling into the base areas is easy as there is normally no passport check at the border. There are also four primary and two secondary schools for the children of the personnel and other employees. The areas also have their own legal system distinct from the UK and Cyprus. There is even a local police, fire and rescue and an ambulance service. So the local population has pretty much all the services that are normally provided by any functioning state. And there you have it. These were 7 facts about Akrotiri and Decalia. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link is in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.